is Rochelle Eggert, and I am joining you for Bethel's midweek devotional. This devotional is entitled A Castle of Strength. Now, this devotional has been pretty close to my heart for the past two years with the whole pandemic, but especially in the last week as my family has had some health concerns that they've been going through. Now, to give you a little bit of background about me, I am currently an elementary music teacher and junior high options teacher, including foods, fashion, and health um, at Fort Saskatchewan Christian School. As all my students know, I love anything Disney and frequently have Disney-themed decorations and activities. One of those activities is a Disney devotional, which uses each of the Disney World attractions as a starting place for devotion. The one I want to share with you today is based on Cinderella's Castle. I'm sure that even those of you who may not know Disney well can at least identify the iconic Disney castle known as Cinderella's Castle. In actual fact, each castle at each Disney park is different. There is the Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland, Cinderella's Castle in Disney World, along with different versions of these castles at Disneyland Paris and the Disney parks in Tokyo, Hong Kong, and Shanghai. But what I want to draw your attention to is what is the idea of a castle? If we go back to the Middle Ages to a time filled with battle and chaos, castles represented strength and power, a firm foundation of which you could come back to for safety. But what comes to your mind when you hear the words strength and power? I don't know about you, but I'm immediately drawn to God and to Psalm 46. Psalm 46 reads, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear that the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. There are so many times in life when we may feel weak, weary, and tired. But God tells us to lean on him and rely on his strength. In Psalm 31, it says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Not only does he promise to be our strength, but he promises to give us strength. Philippians 4 tells us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The idea of trusting in God's strength is something that's not new. I've heard about it all my life. Even going all the way back to Sunday school and learning the song about the wise man building his house on a rock. A song which I now teach my elementary students. But it has really been through these last couple years that the message of the song has really sunk in. For when the rains of life came down, the house on the rock stood firm. God is our rock, our castle, our mighty fortress who will be there as a source of strength allowing us to stand firm when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm us. Please join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you for being our castle, our fortress, our strength in the chaos of life. I pray that you would help us to remember that you are always there for us, no matter what situation we may be going through. Help us daily put our trust not in our own strength, but in yours. May you bless everyone through the rest of this week with the knowledge and peace that the storms of life will not wash them away. In your name we pray. Amen. And may you always remember that God is your castle of strength.